Biafrans rejoice as 15 Southeast Senators storm Sun's office for the release of Namdekanu. Biafrans rejoice as, fi as 15 Southeast Senators storm Sun's office for the release of Namdekanu. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. In a significant development, 15 Southeast Senators, led by Senator Lee Nayala Baribe, have intensified their efforts to secure the release of Unamdekanu. The embattled leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo. This move follows heightened calls for a political solution to Kano's case, which has been a focal point of agitation and unrest in the southeast region. On Wednesday, these senators met with the Antony General of the Federation, Latif Fagbemi San, in Abuja to plead for President Bola Ahmed Sinubu's intervention. They also submitted a letter seeking a political resolution to the criminal charges against Kanu. This visit came on the heels of a resolution by the Southeast Governors Forum to appeal to the President for Kanu's release. Kanu has been in the custody of the Department of State Services, DSS, since June 2021, after his repatriation from Kenya. Despite pleading not guilty to terrorism charges, his bail application was rejected by the Federal High Court in Abuja in March 2024. Concerns over Kano's deteriorating health in detention have added urgency to the cause for his release. Prominent Igbo leaders, including the Apex Sociocultural Group, Owaneze in the Igbo, have joined the push for a political solution. They argue that Kano's release is essential for peace and stability in the Southeast. The region has experienced significant disruption due to the agitation for its freedom, with economic and social life reportedly crippled. The senators emphasized that resolving Kano's case through an out-of-court settlement could de-escalate tensions and restore normalcy. Senator Labaribi, who recently visited Kanu, reported that the IPOB leader is willing to comply with the conditions of any conditional release granted to him. This concerted effort has also seen involvement from other influential figures, such as former President Muhammad Buhari who was approached by lawmakers seeking his intervention. Additionally, the Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Benjamin Kalu, revealed that efforts are ongoing to secure Kano's release through both legal and political 
avenues. The appeal for an out-of-court settlement supported by Justice Bintalun Yako was suggested that parties could explore this option. Reflect a growing consensus among Southeast leaders. They believe that a political settlement is the most effective way to address the security challenges and unrest in the region. As the push for Kano's release gains momentum, the response from the federal government and the outcome of these efforts remains to be seen. For many in the Southeast, the release of Unam de Kano represents not just justice for the IPOB leader but also a crucial step towards peace and stability in the region. In a significant development, 15 Southeast, senators led by Senator Le Yenayala Baribe have intensified their efforts to secure the release of Unam de Kano. The embattled leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo. This move follows heightened calls for a political solution to Kano's case, which has been a focal point of agitation and unrest in the Southeast region. On Wednesday, the senators met with the Attorney General, uh, Attorney General of the Federation, Latif. Fadbe Misan in, the, uh, in Abuja to plead for President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's intervention. They also submitted a letter seeking a political resolution to the criminal charges against Kano.